Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have um, something I want to share with you that I found in my email from Dawn, the letter, the email letter I get from Dawn. Okay, this is somebody, uh, okay, let me just read it. He titles it Ichabod, I-C-H-A-B-O-D. All right. My name is Paul Chastain. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I had two dreams in 2011. These dreams have been brought back to my remembrance in the last two days. Dream one. I was driving in a convertible with a beautiful blonde woman, and we were on a coastal road. I stopped and got out of the car to admire the sea. When I turned back to the car, the woman was laying on the ground. I got down and lay on top of her and started to kiss her. As I did, she changed into a rotting corpse, and I woke up. I heard the voice of the Lord speak to me, saying, that the woman was the church that I loved, a particular denomination. The church that I loved is dead. It was not too long after that that he yanked me out of institutional Christianity hard. He yanked him out hard. Dream 2 I was walking into the lobby of a church. This was 2011 now. That's about the time I left the church. Anyway, moving on. I was walking into the lobby of a church, past shelves of ripe, delicious-looking peaches. I was told that they would be available after the service. I sat through the short service. The pastor spoke an angry sermon and ended it very abruptly. He told the audience, Sermon's over, time to go. As I left, I walked back to where I thought the peaches were waiting, only to see them gone. The shelves removed and a janitor's closet in its place. I was told to keep moving. I left the... Can you imagine? I, of course, it's a dream. He was told to keep moving. I left the building and walked up a dirt trail through some open... Through the... Okay, he, it's a little typo here. Through some openings in some trees. I come to an outdoor refrigerated walk-in cooler with the door open and a light on inside. A lady was standing outside the door calling out to me saying, I have fresh fruit inside, fresh fruit for you to take. I walked through the plastic strips hanging in the doorway and saw fruit of many different kinds. Peaches, apples, grapes, pears, bananas, etc. The lady walked in and said, You may take all you wish. That place you were at will have no more fruit. But my fruit will be available to you in other places. I received the interpretation, and it is this. The church is now devoid of the fruits of the Holy Ghost, and now Ichabod is written over the doors to the church. The Holy Ghost is now to be found in other places, some of which will be small, 
Bible preaching, teaching places, or, well, it says Bible teach, some of which will be small Bible preaching, teaching, places where sin is called out and preached against, the Lord is leading, where there is true times of prayer, calls of salvation, and where the Holy Ghost is allowed to freely move. Other places are homes and places like parks and outdoor spaces. I was told not to seek to find the Holy Ghost and fire in the Laodicean church in America. He isn't there. Wow. Wow. That's that's amazing. Because our experience at the Assemblies of God Church where we went starting in two we visited in two thousand when my grandson was dedicated and We started driving down there. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what you, it was. 2000 when we moved to Jacksonville from Jacksonville to Oxford, so we could drive there every Sunday morning. So it would only be an hour. And there was a a, a pastor came, a visiting evangelist that traveled, and he called me out of a crowd of people at the front wanting healing or whatever they wanted. A lot of people went to the altar call. I was one of them wanting prayer for my illness. And I was like praying like this. And he was trying to get my attention saying, this, this lady down here, the lady in the blue dress, and nobody must have been watching him <laughs> we were all like probably praying or praying for someone anyway i finally looked up and he said yes you you that's when my heart was healed when the lord healed it miraculously and i had been on toprol which keeps the heart rate down and it was still running around 100 and i was on a big dose of it and it was making me so depressed I was in and out of psychiatric units and nobody ever figured it out that it could have been that beta blocker. If you read, look up side effects of beta blockers, it's like a huge 17% of people on them get depressed and suicidal. So drugs can be good. They kept my heart rate down, but they made, they, beta blocker I don't know what they block that my mind needed see sometimes it's just something like that it's not always a demon but medication can certainly mess you up but I uh, you know just if you have that side effect check your meds but my point was then my husband and I moved down here in 2001 and joined it. We were there every time the doors were open. We loved that church so much. And then it changed. The pastor, he got greedy and prideful. And, and then we found my daughter knew the, the couple on the board, two of the highest members on the board were witches or witch and warlock, married couple. He visited her through astral projection. They cursed that church, and they were stronger than others praying against that kind of thing, because we had a prayer team. They must have had a very strong, powerful coven, and our prayer team must not have been doing enough fasting or recruiting enough members or something, but that church went down. And it was so sad the Sunday we decided not to come back.
because it seemed dead. And that was in Assemblies of God Church where healings, people getting filled with the Holy Spirit and all that was taking place back then in 2001, 2002, 2003, maybe 2004. I think we left around 2005. Philip was probably about five, six, maybe 2006. Anyway, um, I was really sad. So this man dreamed this in 20, these two dreams in 2011. The Lord was showing him then. The Holy Spirit wasn't in the churches anymore. The devil revved up his plans. He got his people in these churches where the fire of the Holy Spirit was the best. And he's, anyway, I'll stop it there. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ and Nazareth over this video and over my computer and internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of your devices, your computers, whatever, and your internet connection. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.